Welcome to Learn Biology and we'll be covering organic chemistry in the next few chapters. So what is organic chemistry? Well, a clue should be given through the word organic, which means life. So it is a sub-level of chemistry which deals with reactions and elements that make up life. And this is what it ha this is why we're covering it in biology. So the first thing you understand is what elements make up life. The first thing we look at is carbon. Ca carbon is the element of life. So carbon is the element of life. Anything that is living or once was living is made up of carbon. Along with that come other elements including hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, calcium, phosphorus and phosphates, iron, potassium, and sulfur. What to understand here is that carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen make up 93% of the mass in organisms, so 93%. Nitrogen, calcium, and phosphorus or phosphates make up 6%. And these three here, iron, potassium, and sulfur make up 1%. So why does carbon make up most of life, you might wonder? Well, if you take a look at a periodic table, you'll notice that carbon has four valence electrons or four electrons in its outer shell. So what this means is that it can form a covalent bond with four different elements. So it can form a maximum of four bonds. So for example, carbon is one of the most versatile elements and can have four hydrogens connected to it. Or an oxygen or you know it, it it can almost react with any element and then it can break off and form these things called double bonds and triple bonds but we'll get into that later in the chapters so now we go to these things called monomers so what monomers are are just simple structures made out of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and just the basic elements that we discussed back here. And they're just simple structures that create larger molecules. So the four monomers that make up living things are simple sugars, fatty acids, amino acids, and nucleotides. And each of them get the properties from how the structures are aligned and their usage in cells. But we'll get into that later. But for now, what we need to understand is that they're simple structures. Here is a simple sugar called fructose, and it comes from fruit and it's just a couple of oxygens and carbons linked together. And then this here is a type of simple fatty acid with the carbons right here and oxygen and hydroxide and stuff. But the key here is that they're simple structures that make up large molecules. So small that yield to large and the large molecules that they make up are called polymers. Oh, before we get to that, I'm just going to highlight this term because it is very important. Monomer. Now here we have polymers. These are large structures. They have hundreds to a thousands of carbons and hydrogens and oxygens and so on. So these are large and what they do is they're just linked. They're small, simple sugars linked 
or small fatty acids linked together and what they make are here four important terms and we'll cover each individual one but simple sugars make carbohydrates you've probably heard of oh eat pasta before a big race or a big uh, athletic competition because carbohydrates give a lot of energy uh, then we have fatty acids which is the monomer which make lipids these are the fats the oils and butter and all of that then we have amino acid which is a monomer then make up proteins and you've always heard you know have protein to build strong muscles and then here we have nucleotides which make nucleic acids and what nucleic acids are are structures that make up DNA in our bodies but you see here polymers are large and made up of monomers so this is a monomer M leads to polymer M leads to P so that's all we'll cover in this video and look at the next video to uh, cover specifically what carbs are and what lipids are but uh, thank you for watching and see you next time